Hello and welcome back to my channel E Maths. And today I am going to teach you ratio and proportion, which is relevant for grade six and seven students. So let's start off with ratio and proportion today. Ratio, like if I need to compare this pen all alone, then I won't be able to, because I need to have something to compare this marker with. So I am going to take a pen or a pencil which is of the same family. Now I have taken a pencil. So when I am going to compare these two, I can easily compare. I can see that this one is a thicker one. This one is less thicker. Then I can compare their heights. I can compare their heights. So that means when we talk about ratio, ratio is actually comparison, and we can compare. the same things like if we are comparing length then we need the length of the other object if we are comparing weight then we need to take up the weight of the other object so similar manner you can compare the similar objects similarly if we talk about the units the units also have to be the same if one is in meters the other should also be in meters otherwise you need to change it into meters if one is in kilograms the other must be in kilo kilograms and it's up to you if you if you are convenient to convert uh, kilograms into grams go for it but make the units same when you are comparing two things so that way you can do the ratio so ratio is nothing but comparison like suppose i have 10 rupees and my husband has 20 rupees so if i need to find out the ratio between them we need to simplify it so the ratio that we are getting is 1 is to 2 that means my husband has just the double amount that i have this is how we write down the ratios it is like here we have written it in the form of fraction but we cannot say that ratios are fractions because if we take the example of a pizza Let's take an example of a pizza, and I'm going to divide it into four equal parts. So fraction is actually part of a whole, which I've already taught you in the previous video. Fraction is a part of whole. So if I've eaten this part of this pizza, I'll say I've eaten one out of the four pieces. Now, if we take the same thing in terms of ratio. then i'll say like suppose we are four persons we are four person here then the same thing can will be taken it in terms of person like if there are four person and each has to get one one piece that means again it will be one is to four but it will be in respect of person and not the part of the pizza this is how we can differentiate between ratio and fraction let me tell you something more about ratios you need to remember certain things like the unit has to be same and the ratios are always written in the simplest form you can remove that ratio sign by writing them writing the numbers with the fraction sign means upon and then you can reduce it to the lowest term and then you can write down the ratio and your ratios will not be having any units your question might have units but when you will be writing your answer in ratios you will not be writing units you cannot say rupee 1 is to rupee 5 it will be 1 is to 5 that's how we write the ratios now suppose uh, let's take an example some guest came to your place and while leaving they gave you 500 rupees and told your mother that divide this uh, in your children in 2 is to 3 like the elder one should get the third part of this and the young, younger one should get the second part of it means the first term of it so we have the amount as rupees 500 and it is to be divided in the ratio 2 is to 3 now we need to find out how much each child is going to get so in such a case when the ratio is given to you and also you know the amount then you need to sum up the ratio you need to find the sum of the ratio so it will be 2 plus 3 which is equals to 5 now when you will be finding it for the younger brother younger son is getting the first part of the ratio that is 
upon the total of the ratio that is 5 into the total amount that the guest has given. Now you can simplify it. 500 is 500 and then 2 into 100 is rupees 200. So the younger son is going to get 200 because the ratio was like this. It is to be divided into the younger and the elder one. Okay. Now the elder son will get the third part of it. So only the numerators are changing. The denominator and the amount will remain same for all the ratios that you are going to find. So again, ca again cancel it and you get the amount for the elder son also. So that's how you can calculate if you suppose you have been given the ratio and you have been given the amount you can find it out like this. Now let's talk about proportion. I have already explained you what ratio is when you are comparing two quantities it is termed as ratio. Now when you are comparing two ratios and if those ratios are equal then we can say that the given ratios are in proportion. For example, if I write 5 is to 10 as one ratio and the other ratio I take is 10 is to 20. Now I need to find out whether they are in proportion or not. So I will reduce them into their lowest term. So the values that I am getting for both the ratios are equal. So uh, lastly I can say that these two ratio 5 is to 10 and 10 is to 20 are in proportion. This is the sign of proportionality. With this sign I can say that these two ratios are in proportion. That's what proportion is. You just need to compare two ratios and find out whether they are in proportion or not. That's all for this video today. I'll be coming up with more questions and more videos. Do subscribe my channel. Keep watching. Keep learning. Stay safe. Stay home. Bye.